What's going on you guys? So check it right. As I said in my previous video, 2024 seems to be the year of beef and it looks like there's no end in sight. Now this time around, we have Words taking shots at his former crew member A. Reese. Now Words and Mass Beast just dropped their joint project titled Only the Brave and it consists of 12 tracks with features from Tyson Zabatelli, Usman Mane, Pretty Ugly, Muchin, Melo and Sleazy, Barry Jive, The SoundCloud, Sasti, La Cabra and 25K. Now the thing about Words and Mash is that these two never really miss and that's evidence with the amount of music they've put out together i mean this project right here is a clear indication that they've locked in a certain type of chemistry that most artists and producers wish to strive for and it's undeniable at this point now i think off my first two listens i have tonga agenda which features muchin as my favorite track right now but that might change one side digest it fully but anyways getting to what the video is actually about we have words taking shots at reese and revenge club records as a whole which was bold of him to do. Now, I think it's worth mentioning that I think we as listeners kind of picked out that there was tension between the former crew members before anything was confirmed, but it became a lot more evident when we never saw them spotted together anymore and Words was chilling with MASH a lot more. Fast forward to this year and we had Reese calling Words a little nigger, all because Words was allegedly claiming that the five year plan was his song. Still got nobody to, I heard that little nigga talking on social media, talking about, little nigga talking about this is his song, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Now on the song Adam off the project, we have words addressing those remarks by Reese as he first said, let him claim my old shit, I got new credits nigga. And he also said, how it is isn't how they read it, how you wrote it isn't how you said it nigga. So it definitely sounds like words is claiming that the five year plan was his record as he's alluding to either Reese getting help with his verse or words just pretty much doing the whole track and giving it to Reese. Either way, it's not a good look. I mean, we all see how people try to tarnish Drake's legacy and and penmanship because of the ghostwriting claims and it would be unfortunate if the same was true for the boy but anyways he also addresses the disrespect he received from reese by being called a little nigger as he continued by saying you probably disrespect me because you never thought i'd come for yours set of scores bent the laws come with guns blazing and it's bloody war nigger now i'm not gonna lie to you guys there's so much imagery with these lines i mean just think about the visuals for the five-year plan with the two rappers being armed and how that also alludes to their other track cops and robbers from product of a praying mother i don't know man i found that dope now words also took shots at rcr as a whole when he said the whole revenge club can never touch my shit couple albums in but y'all like those hits trying to talk about my business like the shoe size fits keep going if you boys trying to take that risk now this was a bold move by words i mean he literally name dropped these niggas and it's undeniable at this point bro's really standing on business and you can only respect that but my thing is you're not only taking shots at reese you've now voluntarily included jody into the situation and one thing about him is that he's been itching for somebody to get at him so i'm expecting him to respond not because he's reese's big brother but because the nigga said everything you've dropped could never touch his shit hey bruh all i know is if that was me i'm getting my lick back but anyways where i started talking his shit and doubled down on the claims that the five-year plan was his record as he said i got four or five hits on me barker haynes lick back on god the plan was the motion not the get back on my mama you was probably dreaming when you told yourself you wrote that nigga so the gloves are officially off and there's no running away from it now i'm not going to get into what a hit is but it's apparent that words doesn't think reese and them boys have one which is some big talk from him and i'm here for it i mean ever since parting ways from reese both words and match have flourished with their careers and now words is in a position to talk his shit now do i expect reese to respond as well yeah i do but we don't want subliminals we need this nigga to be direct with his response and that might be the case as the user on x said the following to michael tui send the chop to reese right now he's getting this badly out here 
and that might be the case but it's actually happening guys and as unfortunate as it is since these two were pretty much brothers if they're not going to reconcile then get active put the pen to paper and let's see y'all niggas compete the game could do with this right now plus it's two elite lyricists so it's definitely gonna be a showdown worth paying attention to but you guys let me know your thoughts on this what did you make of the claims that words made and are you enjoying only the brave so far comment down below anyways guys thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace